My name is Crystal Tribble and I live in Beach Terrace. It's basically a regular ghetto. I know a lot of people that's been in jail. My dad, all my uncles, my cousins, but I'm my own person. I wanted to go on American Idol or I want to be a detective. In these communities where incarceration has become so normalized, the system operates practically from cradle to grave. When you're born, your parent has likely already spent time behind bars. You're likely to attend schools that have zero tolerance policies, where police officers patrol the halls, where disputes with teachers are treated as criminal infractions, where a schoolyard fight results in your first arrest. It sends this message that whether you follow the rules or you don't, you're going to jail. We have had problems almost every day, every day. This past week, I think she went to school Monday, and that's probably the only day she went to school. This is all coming down on you. Do you know which way you heading to? Piggy. Do you like it? Are you sure? Because we back in the court again for the truancy. If they got to, if they feel like they have to, they could lock you up. Is that what you want? This is stuff that they can do because you gave them permission to. And look at me. Just think, if you graduate, go to a college, this is something you could talk about with pride because you could share your stories with other kids. You'll be one of the hood project kids that proved a whole lot of people wrong. And I know you can. I know you can. Your family, we know you can. Can't nobody do nothing about this but you. That's it, just you. For being a knucklehead. Well, you've got the truancies here, back here. But then right now, it's the disorderly conduct resisting arrest. OK. Their offer is to plead guilty to the resisting arrest. They would ask that you go on home incarceration. All right, Ms. Turbo, this is a document marked admission of guilt. Have you had plenty of time today to go over everything on this document with your attorney, Ms. Hurley? Yes, ma'am. All right, Ms. Tribble, how do you plead to the charge of resisting arrest? Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. Uh, the sentence for that today is 20 days of home incarceration, and you are to attend school daily with no unexcused absences. All right, what leg do you want to go? Left. Put that chair. We don't think you have any issues at school or at home that we don't talk about it. You just get locked up and come to the youth center. Is that going to be a problem? It's 
Have you currently or recently been pregnant? Mm -mm. Have you ever attempted suicide or caused harm to yourself? Yeah. Are you thinking about it now? No. On a scale of one to ten, how sad are you? Ten. On a scale of one to ten, how mad are you? Ten. I had the handcuffs, the handcuffs was chained around my waist, and I had a lock on it. Like I was gonna break loose or kill somebody. So I don't get it. I'm 15 years old, and I'm in here, basically, for skipping school. The data plays out really clearly that once a child is involved with us formally, it increases the likelihood that they continue to be involved with us or move to the adult system. When you hear those doors lock behind you and somebody has to start calling for keys and for numbers every time you move and somebody's watching you 24 hours a day, how do you help but internalize that, especially as a child? How do you help but internalize that this must be my natural habitat? It's my understanding that you were admitting to contempt for violation of HIP, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. All right, Ms. Tribble, I'm placing you on probation to the Department of Juvenile Justice. Ms. Tribble, you understand you're going to be on a curfew now, and if you violate your curfew, they'll bring you back to me. Do you understand what the next step is? Yes, ma'am. Any further violations of my order will result in a much longer stay at the detention center. Are you clear? Yes, ma'am. Make sure you are. All right, you will be released back on home incarceration. That's all for today. Thank you. Thank you. not a screw-up. I'm not gonna be one. Seems like it now, but wait till you see me in the future. <laughs>